Every few seconds during his post-game interview on Zoom, Andre Drummond glanced down at his right big toe, the one missing a toenail, the one for which X-rays came back negative beyond a bruise. It wasn't the sort of debut Drummond anticipated in his first start for the Lakers after signing with them as a free agent on Sunday. The injury happened when Milwaukee center Brooke Lopez stepped on Drummond's foot during the Lakers' 112-97 loss to the Bucks on Wednesday night at Staples Center, and it's left his playing status as day-to-day. -day. Yeah, um, in the first quarter when I came out, I had got stepped. Brooke had stepped on my foot, and I didn't really think anything of it, Drummond said. I came back in the second quarter and it was hurting a little bit more. And then after half time, I finally took my sock off to look and my whole toenail was gone. So, it was just all bad from there. I couldn't walk or run. So, I just told coach, Frank Vogel, to take me out. Drummond played 14 minutes and 20 seconds. He finished with 4 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists, 1 blocked shot, 4 fouls and 3 turnovers. As of right now, I'm just going to just. What do you do for a toe? I don't know, Drummond said. I'm not really sure what to do. I'm just going to talk to the training staff and find out what's the best thing to do to get back as quick as possible. Teammate Markeef Morris said he had a broken toenail and that it was debilitating while playing through the pain until it healed. I mean, I played the next game, but, man, that, thing was like a month and a half before it started feeling better, Morris said. Because you don't realize how much your toe is rubbing against the top of your shoes, or you're using your toe for power, especially with a guy, with guys that are on their front toes heavy. It's a terrible thing. Drummond last played in an NBA game on February 12 when he was with the Cleveland Cavaliers, who pulled him out of the lineup as they sought a trade partner. The Cavaliers eventually bought out Drummond's contract after the trade deadline, he cleared waivers and joined the Lakers. I don't know what to say at this point. It's just unfortunate, Drummond said. You know, like I said, it's unfortunate that it happened in the first game, but there's not much I could do about it. Just try to find a way to get better and come back ready to play next time. Drummond was getting treatment on the toe at halftime, which meant he wasn't ready to start the third quarter. The Lakers started Montrez Harrell at center instead. Drummond checked into the game with 9.29 left in the third quarter, but he left 1.34 later. The X-ray came back with good news, at least. Yeah, I was definitely very happy to see that it was a negative result on the X-ray, he said. So, it's just a day by day, just icing it, taking care of it and making sure I get it wrapped up to seal the missing toenail that's not there. Drummond said he has lost a toenail before, 